Star, home to the Union of Independent Republic's secret space program. Never been in UIR territory before. You still have it. Vascar was independent. The UIR had the pleasure of occupying... No, excuse me. Liberating this glorious land. Okay, remember how I told you only pissed off nomads lived out here now? Meet Garen Paddock, the most pissed off and nomadic of them all. This is your old UIR contact? Two things I dislike, Baird. The cog and children. You've brought me both. Two things I dislike? Old men and deserts. And yet, here we are. Ha! <laughs> I like this one. Follow me. So, it turns out the UIR space program went way beyond what the COG publicly revealed. Somewhere in this Cosmodrome here, there's a rocket loaded with functional Hammer of Dawn satellites. I think we can get the entire system back online, and start hitting the swarm where they live. If the UIR has satellites during the Pendulum Wars, why didn't you use them? The politicians wanted their armistice. Launching those satellites would have guaranteed another century of war. But still, someone our military tried to launch. It kinda triggered a small civil war, actually. So we know this Cosmodrome's layout. Where are the satellites? Try the rocket hangar. Here. And the wind flares are too severe to fly over that desert. So that's where your skiff comes in. Question. How do we know these satellites are still functioning? Or if they're even compatible with ours? Answer. We don't. And that's where you come in. Unless you're too cowardly, or stupid, or weak. Who is that? A friend, believe it or not. But for now, get to know the layout of that place. There's a good chance most of it's buried in sand. Oh, and uh, come and see me before you go. Notice the part where no one's sure this will work. I don't care. We'll make it work. We have to. Maybe it's time you told me exactly what you saw in that machine. It's not what I saw. It's... It's what I felt. They have a queen now. They're not gonna stop. Look, I woke her up. So I have to stop her. Yeah, but this isn't all on you. Come on. Let's just go see Baird. No one's sure this will work. I don't care. We'll make it work. We have to. Maybe it's time you told me exactly what you saw in that machine. It's not what I saw. It's... It's what I felt. They have a queen now. They're not gonna stop. Look, I woke her up. So I have to stop her. Yeah, but this isn't all on you. Come on. Let's just go see Bear.
People really used to go on vacation, huh? Can't imagine. They did. At least before the UIR took this place over. Ah, good, you're here. Grab this module off the table. Jack's about due for an upgrade. A couple days ago, I sent Tadic a care package. Some DBs and some leeches. Hmm. Intriguing. Potentially disastrous, but intriguing. Thank you. See, the way you describe Niles' machine gave me an idea. I call it Hijack. Go ahead. Try it out. just floods their brains with voltage. It's crude, doesn't last long, but it works. So which swarm can we use it against? Well, our test subject data is limited, obviously, but... Uh, you know what? Go nuts out there. See what happens. Oh, uh, one more thing. Stop by and see Paddock before you go. He's out front. One more thing, Baird. Once we get this hammer up, I need to know if I can rely on you. Don't worry about that. This time, we're gonna do it right. You know what happened to Lizzie and her convoy? It wasn't your fault. Kind of you to say, but I'm the one who pushed the button. Kind of 
that feeling of it. I didn't want to do it, but I did. So that's on me. Speaking of uh, all that, have you seen JD around lately? I'll try my best not to, kid. Hey, Baird. What's this Guardian doing here? Oh, just futzing around with its shield generators. Guys, accent? It's Garazzi. Yeah, and? And they kind of had a rep back in the day. Torture, war crimes. Remember where I come from? The cog had the same rep. Come have a look, children. Until a few weeks ago, we were holding out fine against your so-called swarm. Then, everything changed. They got smarter. Suddenly, they were wearing armor. And they started making deeds. Take one, if you want. So, you all have been fighting the swarm alone? Yes. Which is why I agreed to let Baird come here. We help you with your rocket launch. You help us take back our land. Speaking of which, our water supply's been cut off. We've been trying to restore it, but your swarms made that difficult, to say the least. Getting the hammer up's our priority, but say we help. What do you need? Our water tower. You'll pass it on the way out. Haven't heard from my people there in a while. Could be nothing, could be something. Check in if you can. All right. But now the big question. Are you children really prepared for this? Because your skiff's ready on the runway, and the desert awaits. So, I suppose you're curious about how Baird and I met. Yeah, sure. General Carr, Alvo Bay, the light mass missile. I doubt these words mean much to you. Don't be so sure. Well, it might amuse you to know. I fought for the cog once, alongside your friend Baird. He showed me that not all cog are bad. They're just mostly bad. Okay. Good talk. New weapons, new armor. They're changing.
I did some training in the Deadlands back in those days. Let me know if you want a few desert pointers. You know, only one of us grew up in a city, and it wasn't me. I think I can handle it. Okay. Never seen weird formations like this before. It's sand. Zapped and superheated by a lightning flurry. Oh, yeah? How does that work? High shock pressure. It changes the sand's atomic structure. You're my friend, Mr. Colin. You should be teaching science. Yeah, well, I don't know. Maybe someday I'll do that. Actually... Because you can't. Kate. Maybe you should try listening for once. Kate. I'm listening. Yeah, well, don't bother. I'm done. Okay. Because I'm here to help. If you'll have me. I'm sorry. What? Dad told me about Mount Kadar. What you learned. And... Look, I, I know you don't trust me. After everything that happened, what I've done, I don't blame you. So what does Jen think about you being here? Jen doesn't know. Really? And let me guess, he's here to pitch in too? Yeah. Turns out, Foz isn't so bad. No, I am actually. You just got used to me. Who the hell are they? Friends. They'll be joining us. Yeah? I don't like them. Shocker. You want these two along? Fine. But I deal with you, not them. You good with that? Like I said, I'm here to help. Baird. Come on, then. Let's hop in that raven and find some satellites. No, raven. The wind flares out there will kill you. So what? We walk there. Hey, man, if you want to walk, feel free. But we got other plans. Oh, it's not that skiff, is it? OK, man, before we go, I got a bone to pick. A big one. Sure. Pick away. You lied to me. And then, after you got hurt, you pushed us away. Like, like we didn't even know you. Look, I haven't exactly been myself, Del. I know that. So who showed up today? Your friend. For what it's worth, I tried to convince him to embrace Dark JD. But something about you two brings out the best of him. All right, just wait here.
Navigation. All right, I know why we're here, but where are we going? An old rocket hangar to the east. And just a heads up, the nomads could use some help too. Then let's do it. <laughs> Hold up, man. You can't just say, let's do it, and make the last few months disappear. Del, come on. No, it's okay. Let him get it out. No, 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 see, that's not fair. You're being all reasonable, and I want to stay mad. Then stay mad. I'm not here to prove anything. Just here to help. As am I. So it appears his decency is rubbing off on me. Delta, Paddock just let me in on something that's kind of relevant. When the UIR base commander thought he was going to lose to the Rebels, he infected all military computers with some sort of food sector virus. Meaning most of the tech we'll find out here has been bricked for decades. Yeah. Jack should be able to power past any remaining malware and reboot the machines. He just needs access. All right, Baird. Understood. I'm guessing that's the water tower Paddock mentioned. We're gonna check you out. say they're doing here trying to get their water supply back online think we just discovered the problem Lord! so let's get in there and clean them out
We've got snipers on high. Shit. They're really dug in up here. Not seeing any of the nomads. Not alive, anyway. Well, worry about the master! Clear. Nice work. Did any of the nomads make it out of this? Someone's in there. I mean, she sounds a little crazy, but... I'm not really hearing gratitude here. Eh? All right, Delta. Grab anything useful. Then we head out. Pomakmuni bar peknane tu kog zosit boshkada.
Paddock, we just saved one of your engineers at the water tower. She was a handful. Oh, her. So she survived. That's wonderful. Well, we still need help. Check the pump station and the old docks. We're drilling for groundwater there. All right, if we get time, we'll look into it. Delta out. See what's going on with these trucks. I don't get it. Where the hell is it? Okay, I I'm gonna assume they're in trouble here. Come on, Delta, let's head inside. Shit. Guys, we got pods. I don't like this.
the hell's going on? Why aren't they engaging? Come on, let's get inside. Are we going to get that door open? Are we going to sit here and wait for him to attack? Jack, rip that door. You know this is a trap, right? Oh, yeah. I'm well aware it's a trap. And here they come! Hunters! Okay, let's see what you got! This must be how they hit the Nomad! Pour them in, and then take them out! Anyone else need a nap? Later. Let's just get inside and see what we can find. Like the Nomad's comm center. Maybe we want it back for them. Maybe they won't mind if we borrow some supplies. Jack, pulse! UIR radio tech. You want it? No, you want it. Find two more and you'll be able to boost Jack's hijack ability. Would have done it myself, but, you know, we were a little short on time. 
Oh, all right. We'll keep an eye out. We're done here. We should get back on track. Yeah. Delta, back to the skiff. city ruin. Your people got hit pretty hard here. Uh, one of my scavenger crews, and two others are still missing. If we come across them, we'll try to help. I would very much appreciate that. Reminds me of OCS. Back in the Deadlands. Oh shit. Yeah. First time I ever had beetle soup. What's beetle soup? Well, you take some water, boil it, then toss in some beetles. Oh, so pretty much exactly what it sounds like. Yeah, it's protein. Your body doesn't know the difference. Honestly, I kinda liked it. That's probably why you're a captain. Taking this.
I'm ready to go. Okay, now that we're all together, here's a question I've always wanted to ask. When you two went AWOL, did you miss me? Oh, uh, yeah, not really. Absolutely not. Hey, did either of these two talk about the handsome boy they trained with? Uh, well, they did mention this one arrogant, brutal asshole. Hey, did you know that guy too? No, but he sounds like a top bloke, honestly. <laughs> it's okay. I know you guys miss me. Okay, let's go see what kind of condition Paddock's drill is in. Dyer is my guess. Base. Great. This place is crawling with swarm. They don't see us yet. We can pick a few off quietly. Jack, pulse. <laughs> the old docks. Your drill looks okay. I don't think it's damaged. I'd appreciate if you verified that. Fire it up. But if it starts to shake and smoke, maybe run. 
Okay. Alright, Jack, it's, um, it's all you. Good news, Paddock. Turning on your drill didn't kill us all. Then congratulations. You've almost succeeded in getting our water supply back online. All that's left is to check in on our pump station. If we find the time, yeah, we'll do that. Delta out. I think it's time we got back to the skiff. Yeah. All right, Delta. Let's head out. Ah, oh, shit. Just realized. I forgot my sunscreen. Whose sunscreen? My Bernie's. Have a fight with a sunburn. It's not pleasant. Not pleasant at all. I'll radio back to command. Maybe they can arrange for an airdrop or something. See, you kid. But that would actually be very helpful. Station. Are we stopping? All right, let's have a look inside. This thing's pretty quiet. Could be a good sign. A very bad one. Okay, there's our way in. Ah! Yaya Dortnir, Yaya Kakapsen! Hey, you okay back there? Can we help? Wah! Wah! Cog! Estanu Sanui! And Palstan Tsilin Pong! Robot! Obuki! Po Fan Pabin! Robot! Obuki! Wait. Robot. I I think he needs Jack's help. Ota! Ota! Robot Obuki! Robot Obuki! Wah! Dusty! Nahipo! Nahipo! Heads up! Incoming DZ! 
trees. Let's keep him back. Jack, shot trap. The mom. I don't push the adversity. Shit, the bubble. I'll be little dicks. Don't let him hear the pops. God damn it, we got more of them! Come on, we got this! Don't die, don't die, don't die! You know what? I'm like the guy's attitude! Sounds happy. Well, that should do it. Paddock's got his water supply back online. Well, look who it is. Oh, it don't seem no boat. Gets out the money that he will say get. Nay, but I don't both want it. I reckon she wants you to take that. Huh? Koi both want on this. Wow. There's a lady here wired up a surge protector to her cloaking device. That's clever. Oh, this should work great for us. Okay, for Nur Ninin. Has no spot funny and no book hit. Uh, thanks? That lady is an absolute nut. I think we're done here. What do you say? Back to the skiff? Kate saw something. Something that terrified her. Yeah, well, that pretty much covers it. He was worried about you. And I was worried about you. Don't worry about getting the rocket launched, not me. Yeah. It's fine.
gotta be the rocket hangar. So let's park this thing and find an old rocket. Paddock said there's plenty of swarm out here, so stay sharp. Party. Come on, let's get inside. Done. Good night. Paddock, the swarm tried to stop us, but we're heading into the hangar now. Good. Your rocket should be inside. Let me know when you need translations, because you will. I speak five languages. Okay, got it.
Let's get inside. Help me. 